Hi, it's Dot, and tonight in my low carb kitchen, I'm using three different fats for a very tasty treat. We're making a bulletproof fat bomb. Hmm. Now, this recipe comes from a great site you guys really all should get to know. It's called Keto Diet App, and they have, uh, the blogger there has, she has wonderful recipes, really nice tools, and also just lots of good information about eating low carb and uh, high fat, or keto specifically. So, what goes into this fat bomb? Well, I'm gonna be using cream cheese, although uh, one of her recommendations is if you don't wanna use cream cheese, if you wanna keep it without dairy, to use um, coconut cream instead. So that's an option for you. Obviously coffee is gonna go into it. So I've got a little bit of coffee here. I'm using butter, grass-fed butter. If you don't wanna use grass-fed butter, you can use coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil as well. And then I'm also using MCT oil. If you don't have it, it can be a little pricey. Coconut oil will do just fine. Just stick with the coconut oil instead. I'm also using unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of rum extract and it gives it a nice um, tiramisu flavor, which is really awesome. And then obviously I've got my sweetener here. So with that, this dish you make pretty much in your blender. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cream cheese first. You want your cream cheese at room temperature. You don't want it to be cold. You want it to be warmed up. Next up, got sticky fingers now. Next up is the butter. The butter should also be at room temperature too gonna add in the MCT oil to give me a nice healthy fat this is really what's gonna be helping burn the fat which is awesome I'm gonna add my sweetener my cocoa powder I want that on top here's the rum extract and finally the coffee so next thing I'm gonna do because I'm using a ninja so you put your mixer on here and actually you blend it upside down or you put it in upside down. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the machine and then start mixing everything. All right, all I'm going to do is put this on pulse until everything is well blended. So And sometimes what you have to do, depending on your blender, like this one with the Ninja, I'm going to actually scrape down the side. So you want to be real careful if you got one of these because see, so that's the creaminess you're getting with all that healthy fat. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape down the sides and scrape around the bottoms a little bit. Because you really wanna make sure that cocoa powder, if you can see it, I wanna make sure that's all mixed in. So I scraped down everything. I think we're pretty much well mixed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and now get this ready to go into my molds. Now, if you can tell here, it's a pretty creamy consistency, which is really, really nice. It's very smooth. It almost looks like pudding. It's not pudding, so you can't eat it like pudding either, but it is a, it's a very fluffy too. Now I'm gonna put them in straight from here into my molds. However, if you're more adventurous and you happen to have an ice cream maker, you can go ahead, put it in an ice cream maker, follow your uh, ice cream maker's instructions. So it's either 30, 60 minutes for it to churn. And then you can put it into your molds. It just makes it have more of a consistency of ice cream in a way. But at the same time, don't eat it like ice cream. It's not like you can have half a cup serving of this. It has a lot of fat in it and a lot of calories and you just don't want to do that. So with that, the nice thing is with these molds, a tablespoon is perfect. It's a perfect serving size for this. So I'm going to go ahead and just plop it right in and just spread it around. And I'm just keeping them level. Now with the ice cream maker, you can make heaping sizes. Just keep in mind, depending on the size of your mold, you want to make sure you can actually put it in your mouth because it is going to be frozen. <laughs> um, just to let you know. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up my molds and then we'll be back for the final step. All right, I have my mold filled out, filled out. I have about 20 of them that I'm making, which is what the recipe actually calls for, about 20. I actually have a little bit of the mixture left over, so I have smaller molds, so I wanna make little tiny fat bombs, but I'll fill that out a little bit later. What I wanna do is get this in the freezer. You're gonna freeze this for about two to three hours. Now, I've mentioned this in the other fat bomb video I did. I like to put the molds before I fill them on a flat tray, simply because this becomes really, really, um, a mess basically if you try lifting it up I've done that the wrong way it's just more stable on a tray and I leave it actually in my freezer on the tray too so I'm gonna go ahead and get this in all right I let these stay in overnight so it is the next day 
and they're nice and frozen. They're pretty puffy looking, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And that's what I love about silicone, silicone molds. They just pop out so easily. So I'm just going to pop all these out. So I got them all out. They're nice. They're frozen. They look wonderful. I'm going to sample one, but since these are pretty big and this is, um, you want serving size is one to two tablespoons. This is about a, ta a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm going to actually, I had a little bit left over to make some of these smaller ones with a little happy face. If you can see that, um, that's one of my little molds. These are a little bit more. This is about a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and sample this one. Really good. It has, I can taste the rum flavor because it does taste a little bit like a tiramisu. Nice and cool. You just store these in the freezer in a freezer proof bag and they'll last for four months, which is really nice. Once you take them out though, if you let them sit out a little bit too long, they'll start melting because it is fat. They're a nice energy boost and it'll keep you satiated. They are snacks, not a meal replacement. Keep that in mind, but they'll keep you satisfied for quite some time. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you give these a try. Subscribe, hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications for when I post new cooking videos, just hit the little bell that you'll see below the video on the right hand side of the screen. So with that, I'll see you next time.